Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we got to September and the French are finally just annoyed, at, so annoyed at Italy's existence that they have decided to declare war. So be it. Now, uh, yeah, Britain is aligning with the French, Germany and Austria Hungary are aligning with us. Right, time to go and show those French what for. Uh, let's move this entire fleet out to here. Uh, we have a few other ships around. I don't think they have much down here. No, they don't. So I'm just going to move this cruiser squadron. In fact, I'm just going to move two of them to keep an eye on uh, Bizerta and Chinus. The battle cruisers, though, I think think hold on uh i'm gonna move i'm gonna be a little bit of a battle cruiser squadron that's with some cruiser support and there's another one somewhere yeah there it is and they're gonna go up the coast and uh, let's see if we can get something going. We're going to max out the tick budget. I'm going to order another 10 destroyers. So that's what we're light on. Well, another seven. Uh, and we might as well start expanding our dockyard as well. Yeah, that should work fine. Uh, there's don't think there's any good research coming up. I think we've got triple base. Yeah. In a month. I'm not a huge fan of triple base, so it's not a huge issue. How's things looking? Yes, Britain. Well, Britain might come into the war, but not for a while. Germany might come into the war against France, and so might Austria Hungary quite quickly, though. Look at that. Hmm. And hopefully, we get a bunch of missions this month. You tend to tend to get quite a few missions in the first month. Um, and so far, the building ships thing has resolved itself. I just have to keep the faith. Keep the faith. Pray to the Omnissiah that it's not going to crash. <laughs> what do we think, chat? What do we think the French have built? What do we think they've built? I'm curious to see what designs they may have. Um, okay, the Austro-Hungarians like us, and there's the triple base. And they've done nothing. They've done literally nothing. I mean, they definitely have... Oh, no, they don't have ships down here. That's the problem. Is everything up here? What do they even have? Five battleships, a battle cruiser, eight heavy cruisers, 18 light cruisers... And ten destroyers. Hmm. Okay. Um. Right, we're going to send our battle cruisers over to the North Atlantic to cause some trouble. See if we can't get the French to uh, to do something. Again, I wish we had that invade option. I'll put, put them on invade anyway. Maybe we'll get something. Uh, well, when when will 106 go live? Asks Spec Ops. Um, uh, well, ho they said hopefully tomorrow uh, at the time of recording. Um, but you know, take that with a pinch of salt. Um, I I don't know. Pr I, hopefully by the next time I'm streaming. 
Uh, by the time that this video goes out on YouTube, uh, I'm sure it will already be out. Um, and we'll probably be talking about 107 already. <laughs> Block the Strait of Gibraltar. Yeah, I could do, but those battle cruisers should probably bump into the French uh, on the way. But we have a light cruiser to have a look at. The Sukuf. Five inch guns. Interesting. Regular crew. Uh, we only have green and trained. So the French have been spending a lot on uh, crew, but 29 knots, so significantly slower. Six quadruple torpedo tubes. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. Right, are these gladiators? No, a gladiator and a Roma. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's split you two up. So we have Bobon. This is the gladiator style ship. And we have a Roma class. They're uh, kind of coming in like that. You've got a void on, haven't you? Turn that off. Kind of hoping they're going to come at me. But uh, I can easily outrun them. Oh, shoot. So maybe we need to close a little bit. There we go. have a look at you that is a destroyer France <laughs> actually looks pretty I mean actually doesn't look too bad for what it is Open up with the nines. Immediately a target lock bug. That's not great. Let's see if we can get all the six inch guns firing. There we go. What are you up to? You're not firing your torpedoes because they're not turning. I'm trying to throw off my aim. Aim's holding steady. Holy shit! <laughs> the six inch four deck pen, 493 damage. 9.2 though, main belt pen, 538 damage. Yikes. She's aiming her torp launches now. I'm not sure she's fired them though. She might have done though. So, I'm going to order the ships to turn and give chase. Because to me, it looks like she's running away. Another massive hit. That was from a six inch gun. And another. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> She's firing back, finally. Oh, there go the torps. Four inch guns, go! 
<laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> oh my lord. They are electric torps. Torpedo. Okay. Pretty sure they're a miss though. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just brutal. The torpedo launchers have been taken out. Yeah, a lot of lot of boom on that. She's lucky she didn't get them detonated. Doing well fighting the flooding, but uh, eventually ripped to shreds. Uh, she scored a single hit that entire battle. A single one. One solitary hit. <laughs> From one of their little 1.6 inch guns. <laughs> one too many I know it was only right at the end as well uh, yes it was doing the, the kind of getting the crew out with the, the oars to turn it right well at least we know that the French light cruisers are um, not really up to snuff and then they go and lose a bunch of transports as well. Um, let's keep let's keep uh, keep a a little unit on station over here. Uh, where are my battle cruisers? They're getting there. Should be able to find something to fight up here. While well, the main fleet keeps yeah, all of this completely blockaded. Hmm. Hey, Ottomod! <laughs> yes, Ottomod has woken up. Now then. I'm surprised the French only had a single light cruiser in the mid when... You know, they were clearly, like, itching for war with us. Um, no. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Mets. Well, we know that the uh, Sukuf 
Kla or Sukuf class are not the best. Let's have a look at this. The Mets, a Cerebel class. 30 knots, a regular crew. Maximum bulkheads, that's nice. 7 inch guns, a bunch of torpedoes. Uh, I think you're about to have a very, very bad day. Because you're only a 33 million heavy cruiser. And you're fighting four uh, cruiser killers at the same time. It's not your best plan. Not your best plan at all. <laughs> Look at it. Cutting through the water. Very nice. These things are fast. Uh, if you didn't watch the uh, build video, these things do 40 knots with barely any smoke interference. And 100% engine efficiency. They are extremely fast. And, as you're about to see, hopefully, very, very, very deadly. 12-inch guns do not mess around. Right, here's the French heavy cruiser. Interesting layout. Very boring heavy cruiser hull. That is an extremely long citadel. I don't think that ship has the best handling, and I think they spend a lot of weight on that citadel. Overpen. Marshall. Still fairly long range. So range on your torps. Ten. You must be using fasts. Holy shit. <laughs> I just demolished it. Uh, main deck overpin. Overpin, 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 overpin. Hmm. Blocked. Must have hit the belt. Yes, it has a Q. Given the number of overpens, uh, I'm going to authorize them to switch into AG. Yeah, that'll do. Be a couple belt hits. You are target locking. And your target looking too. Explains why the accuracy has gone down. So are you. Stop it. Main tower destroyed. Stop it. Hold 
Oh! More massive hits. Yeah, it's partialing on the... Um, belt. Yeah, they're close enough to get belt hits now. That'll do. Maximum bulk is just keeping it alive at the moment, but yeah, not when you just shake the entire ship apart. Right, go to HE on the light cruiser. Fuck. Hell. Oh, that was a four deck pen as well. That basically just sank the ship. Down she goes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> damage received. Nothing. Not a single... Not a single hit. Bloody hell, France. No, couldn't even launch the torpedoes. Just completely obliterated. Not, not so good. <laughs> not so good, France. Uh, annoyingly, it does mean that the ships will be back here. But I'm actually going to send the the big fleet up here instead, seeing as there are no like the, there's nothing going on here. Like they don't have anything in the Western Med, like nothing. So I'm just going to get a uh, heavy cruiser. Or two, I think there's another one here. Another one there. Just just to block up their ports. And then everybody else is gonna go for a fun little time. Actually, you know what? You guys, English Channel, go go sit yourself right in the English Channel. And the battle cruisers. Go there. Aha! Uh, okay. 
<laughs> really? Really? Okay, as I normally... I, what I'd normally do here is I just auto-resolve it. In fact, I'm going to, even though... Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, just because otherwise it, it will cause the task force to go back. Um, and we have some convoys. We have an attack by the San Marco. Uh, two ships doing an attack. And the Carlo the Third doing an attack. I'm going to do those in the next episode. I hope you see you then. And uh, thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.